Okay, uh, we just had an end of some sort. Uh, no, we... Wait. What? Sigma. Yeah, you're right. We had, we Sigma. had Sigma's in. So, let's go over here, get this, and then we'll work our way over that way. And then go back to the wall of bombs. So, first Move and foremost... Me, I, I have a sinking suspicion that that left path is going to... Uh... Unconscious Alice, or unconscious someone. Someone who couldn't vote. Don't remember. I think it might be Clover. It is someone who, it was someone who could not vote. Are someone who wasn't right? going to I vote. I think it's Clover. It was currently in the Maybe other room with Alice. Remember. It's Ray, because we're bad people. Yeah. We stepped out of the AB room. I could see the others filing out of their rooms as we did. Why? I didn't have an answer for her. All I could think about was that white liquid. What was it? Some kind of discharge? Blood? No. Oh my god. Couldn't be blood. Blood wasn't white. That was insane. I was uh. lost in thought when Luna spoke. Um, I'm going to the infirmary. Yeah? Uh, uh, don't you want to see the results? Why? I already know what they're going to be. Her usually warm personality seemed to have gone cold. Whether it was because I'd chosen Betray or because she'd noticed that something was wrong with my body, I couldn't say. Excuse me. And with that, she was gone. Yeah. So she is potentially programmed to uh, go, Hey, we are... We are a good person, so you get this information now. I turn back to the projection. With heavy steps, I headed toward K, Dio, and Tenmyoji. I suddenly have a question. Results from round two. Please direct your attention. What's this question? Why is his hand getting off a of bite discharge? Because he got cut. Because the ABT. I mean, he got cut yes, by the ABT, the, uh... but if if anything injected into the arm still goes into your bloodstream and affects the body, shouldn't his blood for that hand be red as well? Correct. No. Not necessarily, no. It's not connected to the bloodstream. Yeah, it is. Please check you don't have to have red to blood like in that area for it to be connected to the bloodstream. Points. And it's not the, the skin and muscle tissue that's connected to the bloodstream, It because that's what's giving off the white stuff. The the uh, arm itself is connected to the blood tissue, or the, it is connected to the blood vessels and whatnot, which is where the poison is going to go. Ah, uh, so it's the separate... You're saying there's a separate... um. Yeah, the ABT is separate. And the white stuff is just like, say, the glue that would discharge out of the cut. It's we not continue. the glue, but... Sigma has 9 BP? See? I told you! The bastard's finally showing his true colors. What the hell are you doing? Clover isn't even voting! I have misjudged you. I never thought you would do something so cowardly. Bah, bah, bah. There was nothing I could say. I had chosen Betray of my own volition. But had I really? Had I really pressed that button of my own free will? <laughs> the more I thought about it, the more I felt as if some other force had guided my hand to the button. Perhaps it had been fear. I was scared by the white fluid that had appeared on my palm. Maybe that had been the tipping point, and I had decided that I had to escape as soon as possible. Damn the consequences. I got out, and the nightmare would be over. That's all it was, right? Nightmare? <laughs> it couldn't be real. White blood was insane. Impossible. It was when I looked up and saw the others staring at my hand. Shit. I quickly put my hand behind my back, but it was already too late. They moved toward me like wolves, clo closing in for the kill. S Sigma? What was that? He was cut. It must have been blood. But why was it white? Isn't that obvious? Everyone has said that line at least once. He's not human. Not human? No. What are you saying? Of course I'm human. I'm 100% human. Then explain that white stuff. 
I swear to God, I have no idea what it is. You have to believe me. I'm afraid you're not being very convincing. Oh, you're one to talk. We can't even see you. You could be a robot. Maybe that's not even a suit. That's just you. Robot you. No, that seems extremely unlikely. However bad my amnesia might be, I am quite sure of my humanity. I am, without a doubt, not a robot. I probably just programmed you to think that. Alright, it's pretty obvious this guy's dangerous and probably unhinged. We should take him down. I agree. <sighs> Looks like there's no other way. Now that he's got 9 BP from stabbing Clover in the back, there's a good chance he'll try and get out of here by himself. Hey, hold on a minute. Let's not do anything rash. <laughs> Didn't have a choice. Spun around and ran for the number 9 door. No! I don't think so! Shit. Go. Let go of me. There was no match for all three of them. Before I could take two steps, I was on the floor, pinned. The desperation was only getting stronger, however, and I wreathed and twisted in a futile attempt to get free. God damn it, you have to let me go. This is all some kind of mistake. A misunderstanding. It's... it's a conspiracy. <laughs> So, there's a conspiracy to turn your blood white? You're a funny guy. Stop trying to get away. It's over. Shit. Get off me. Let me go. If you won't calm down, then you leave me no choice. I'd hoped we could avoid this. Try not to struggle too much. No. Don't. I had to make a lot of sound effects. <laughs> First thing I felt when I woke up was the hard pain of a bruise all the way across my neck. It must have suffocated me. I held, my head felt like it had been stuffed with cotton, and I had to put a, out a hand to steady myself as I stood up. Where am I? Is this the infirmary? How long had I been out? My foot bumped into something and I looked down to see the injection gun. My glass vial labeled Slopper Reel was still attached to it. The anesthetic. They're choking me, they made sure I wasn't getting up in the near future. That meant I could have been asleep for a long time. Where is everyone? They I glanced around the room. It was empty, except for me. It took me a moment to realize what was that, what was especially odd about that. Even Quark and Alice had disappeared. What the hell's going on? That was when I noticed it. Quark and Alice weren't the only things that had disappeared. Two other things, two other very important things, were also gone. My bracelet and my left hand. For a long moment, I just stared, dumbstruck. What I was seeing couldn't possibly be real. There it was, a smooth cross-section of my arm where a hand should have been. Thick white liquid dripped slowly from the stump. What? What's this? Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Yeah. Yar, yeah. A scream clawed its way out of my body, taking my hand, taking my mind with it. Real talk though, screaming in a house that's got other people in it, just not a good idea. That's why I don't do it. Sorry. And after that, nothing. Game over. Everybody disappeared and they cut off my fucking hand! Rude. Rude. Okay, there's that out of the way. Now we can finally go here. We have fake arms! What? <laughs> Nyaaaam. He is escaping. I had to go through a lot to get the information here. Sigma, oh, you just went down the wrong what's pathway. wrong with your hand? There's something... white on it. 
The structure of the bones in your arms isn't anything close to human. Your arms are... cybernetic. So that means I should be super strong, right? Should be. How was that? I have cybernetic arms? It's both shocking and utterly obvious. What? Of course my arms are artificial. Titanium alloy bones of an ABT exterior to mimic human skin. <laughs> Obviously. But I had no idea why. Nor did I know when my human arms, which I distinctly remember having, had been replaced. And that flash of Luna I'd seen. Certain it had never happened. Those things hardly mattered, though. If I survived, I could worry about them later. The fact that my arms were mechanical, however, that might be useful. Called up all the strength I had left and stood up one more time. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Why don't you open it already? Uh, what? Did I stutter? Open the number nine door. S Sigma, what are you saying? <laughs> He's got a really big hat. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Watch his hat. Yeah, uh, it expands massively. I know. <laughs> So it's a really Kay's long torso. <laughs> oh, there it goes. <laughs> Big hat. <laughs> Look at that one! <laughs> Looks like you finally gave up. Whatever. I was just about to flip the switch anyway. <laughs> and hurry up. <laughs> hey, don't rush me. Okay, you've got 9 BP now, right? Y yes Well, what do you say? Wanna come with? I... I... I will remain here. Why? I cannot abandon Sigma. Don't worry about me. Go. You have to get outside and call for help. But... You think Dio will? If he's the only one who gets out of here. There's no hope for the rest of us. You're the only one we can... count on. I understand. Great! Glad we got that settled. Shall we go? No! Stop! I began to move, but it was already too late. Dio grabbed the lever and threw it down. It's been fun! Peace! I promise to call for help and return as soon as I can. Please, do not give up hope. Yeah, I know. Just get going already. But... Just you, okay? Huh? Steve turned to look at me, I crouched. Then, calling on every last bit of my strength my wearied body could supply, I launched myself toward him like a coiled spring. We are immune to anesthetic. Slammed into his legs, knocking him to the floor and wrapping my hands around his ankle before he could get back up. Hey! What are you doing, you bastard? The door's gonna close! Let go! Let go, goddammit! Let me go! He lashed out with his free leg at my head, shoulders, and arms, but I held on. I ignored the pain, tightening my grip with every blow. Hey! What the hell is this shit? Why are you doing this? I kept my promise, didn't I? Yeah, so did I. As far as I recall, it didn't say anything about letting you escape. What? <laughs> Stop screwing around, asshole! I have to get out of here! I'm not going to let my sacred mission get fucked up by some self-righteous idiot! Theo began to pull himself along with his elbows, bit by bit edging closer to the exit. He was headed straight through the door, but the gate was already beginning to close. With only a few feet to spare before it shut, he crawled across the threshold and beyond the door. Sigma! Stop! That's enough! Please, you have to let go! The door's going to shut on you if you don't let go! 
<laughs> We're gonna feel this. All right. See you later, Dio. <laughs> Tee hee, indeed. You're an idiot right up until the end, aren't you? Just hurry up and die, you senile old fuck! No. I... I'm gonna live. <sighs> Squeesh. Uh, that's a oh. horrible sound. He's gonna feel that. Not anymore. But he's gonna feel the crushing of that. The number nine door has closed. This ends the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. As the game is over, all doors other than the number nine door have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay. The announcer's voice grated at the inside of my skull. I felt tired, so very, very tired. I felt my eyes flutter closed, and then nothing. Huh? Sigma! Sigma! Finally awake, huh? Where am I? I rubbed my eyes and slid my legs off the bed to stand up. Well, to be honest, it was an examination table, not a bed, but which meant... The infirmary, huh? I guess they carried you out here after you passed out. Yes? Well, I wasn't there to see it. I was out, just like you. But I was in the AB room. Why? That bastard Kay. He punched me in the stomach. I can't believe him. He didn't want me voting, so... Whoa. And after he knocked you out, he voted Betray, which brought his BP up to 9. Yes. So, where is he now? On the other side of the number 9 door. With Dio. You told him to go, remember? Oh. Yeah. Is your arm okay? Arm? I heard what happened. Cybernetic arms, huh? Can't say I'm surprised. I was starting to get a feeling something was up with you. I looked down at my left hand. Or rather, I looked down at where my left hand should have been. Instead, there was a stub wrapped in white gauze. I told myself I'd do anything to get the cure. Even if it meant letting Dio betray me. But I had a feeling I might come to miss my hand. Oh. Yeah. How's Quark? I'm right here! Woo! Quark. Man, I'm glad you're alright. Yep. Feeling better? Thanks to you. You got the medicine from that jerk deal, right? Luna gave it to me and now I'm better. Thanks. You're the best, Mr. Sigma. You saved my life. It seemed they'd shared stories while I was asleep. Everyone knew now how I'd made a deal with Dio and about the journal we'd found with the Latin in it. Clover and Fi seemed to have done most of the talking. It was completely the opposite of what we guessed. We're not infected. The rest of the world is. That means this place isn't a quarantine facility. It's more like a shelter. It's still a quarantine facility. Well, we don't know anything for sure yet. I thought the same thing you did, but then Sigma pointed out a couple of discrepancies. Yeah. Fi and I have already gone over it, but... I explained what I'd noticed. One. We were in a shelter for uninfected people. Why had Quark been infected? Any place designed to keep a virus like that out would have a lot of safeguards to keep anything from getting in. Had the virus really bypassed all those measures? Didn't seem likely. Two. The timing of our abductions in the pandemic's outbreak was strange. It makes sense if we'd been rescued after the disease had become widespread. But that wasn't what had happened. First, we'd been abducted. Then, the pandemic had broken out. 3. We didn't know why Zir had put us in the nonary game. If we were survivors he wanted to protect, then why try and kill us? If we were in a shelter, why wasn't it safe? Well, what about this? 
Maybe someone anticipated the pandemic. I don't know who. Probably Zero. Anyway, they grabbed us before the pandemic really started. Then they put us in the shelter. But then, after a while, he got bored, so he decided to have us play this game to kill time. Just got bored. <laughs> Who on earth would make people he rescued play a game where they could die just because he was bored? Well, we don't actually know if there is poison in this bracelet. <laughs> what? You're the only one who's gotten injected so far. And when you did, it was only Soparil. What are you saying? That what I did at the, the what that that blah, 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 blah. that what I did at the number nine door was all pointless. No, that's not what I mean. That can't be it. I'm sure there's tubocurine in the bracelets. The atoms analysis confirmed it. But what if the atom is lying? If you're going to do that, then we don't have anything to base any speculations on. You could say that the newspaper article was fake, or that the Latin journal wasn't real. Or the journal was real, but my translation was a lie. You made it up? No. My translation was accurate. I'm just making the point that once you start talking about this stuff being fabricated, it doesn't stop. I don't think Zero is doing this just to take the piss out of a lime. What? Uh, I was just trying to stress that I don't think Zero would do this to pass the time. How do you make that mistake? However, I do think Clover has half a point. Meaning? That someone did anticipate this pandemic. That part seems reasonable. Well, if the virus was yeah. spread on purpose, then I could see how that might make sense. Yeah. It's not like Noah put all the animals on his Shit. ark after the flood happened. He went around before the rain started falling to gather them all up, right? Are you saying that we were rescued because we're all that's left of humanity? We were brought here because someone knew there would be a pandemic that would turn us into an endangered species? Does that mean we're supposed to... repopulate the planet? Repopulate. Huh. I looked around and did a, and did a quick inventory. Four women, an old man, and a kid. That meant... I was the only young, fertile male. <sighs> Repopulation, huh? That didn't sound so bad. If that was the case, maybe there wasn't any reason to escape. <sighs> if the newspaper and the journal were right, then the world outside was crawling with a deadly virus. Why would we go expose ourselves to that? This would be the safest, happiest place on Earth. game's over. There's no point to any of this now. No, that's not true. The game might be over, but we've still got a lot of unanswered questions. In fact, we've got even more questions. So, are those answers going to open the number nine door again? It's all over. Why we're stuck here doesn't mean shit. The eight of us aren't leaving, ever. That's all that matters. Eight? You... you're including the old woman? Yeah. Hey, you know what? What if the old lady is Zero Senior? Yeah, you're right. We never even considered that. But that would mean the person in charge of all this was murdered by somebody. That doesn't make sense. Maybe she wasn't murdered. Huh? Are you saying she was infected with Radical Six and killed herself? But we didn't find a knife or any kind of weapon in the AB room with her. Maybe she was killed somewhere else. And then someone carried her in there. What? It's ridiculous. Well, maybe we should go take a look at her one more time. Maybe we missed something. Sure, okay. We looked down at the body of the old woman. I was the first to move. Quietly and methodically, she began to examine the woman in her clothes. I just stood there. Even if she was dead, no, especially because she was dead, I just didn't feel right touching her. After a few silent minutes, Phi suddenly stopped. She pulled something from one of the old woman's sleeves and held it up toward me. A card? Looks like an ID card for this place. Since it's got her picture on it, I'd say it's a safe bet the card is hers. Huh. Looks like her name is... 
Kurashiki. Kurashiki? Ever heard of it before? Nope. You? No. Anything on the back? Huh? There was something written here. It says, Jumpy Doll. Somebody want to write that down? Got it. That is. I got it. Started to say something? No, I was just wondering what that could be, too. No, no. Well, actually, it says pass equals Jumpy Doll. So I'm guessing Jumpy Doll is a password of some sort. What the hell does that mean? Beats me. Looks handwritten. She must have put it on here herself so she wouldn't forget it. Yeah. We were still looking the card over when I heard a commotion from the other part of the room. It's weird that we're Alice, still in here after what's wrong? things have gone wrong. Or so after the door's been opened, uh, people oh. are going to start radical sexing, aren't they? I had to jinx it. Oh my god. <laughs> It's like, you know what? This is nice. There's no puzzles, there's no other things. It's just people being able to talk and we can get a lot of information. As soon as I had that thought, Alice, kill mode engaged. <laughs> Alice! Uh, oh, oh no. What are you planning to do with that? I'm so upset. <laughs> Fine, I turned around and gasped. Damn it! We ran to the other end of the room and skidded around the partition. We don't have a second dose. Correct. There stood Alice, her hand wrapped tightly around the scalpel. She didn't seem stable. Her eyes were flat and hollow, her face an emotionless mask. She was not well. The look on her face was all too familiar. Quark. She looked just like Quark had before he went insane. But that meant... Goodbye! Her hand moved, lifting the scalpel up high in the air, then driving it down toward her heart. And nobody thought to go stop her? Well, we lost our hand, and everybody else is just not exactly likely to Bond move. like us. See, we have a tendency to do things. And of course, that's Quirk's ending. <laughs> Can't you tell? No information whatsoever <laughs> besides that card. No exposition, no nothing. Just here's a card I get. We have this and we have this. <laughs> okay. Who are we missing again? Fi and Luna? Yeah. Yep. Luna's next. Here we go. Okay. Ah, so don't look at the screen. <laughs> What's wrong with the screen? Too many flashy lights. So I know we know the username and password, but can we try um the other thing? I will put in whatever you want me to put in. Here, Shiki as the ID. Uh, don't be tall as a password. Spell that for me. A U R A. Are you sure it's K U R A and not K U R I? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's K-U-R-I. It's in your archive, but it's Japanese, so Kura would be R-A. Yeah, well you're assuming it's Kura. You can check the archive, you have her name written down. Didn't work. Is jumpy? Did you use with the Y? Well, that's how it was spelled, right? Yeah. Just like that. Just like yeah. that. Hurry. Try that. She, she key. I don't think that's it. I don't know. But, eh. It's worth a shot. I anyway, have done my part. Yep. GTF. Oh. I don't know if you can have a. I don't know if you have a dash mark. No. No. DM. Zero one six. L. 
DML? DML. Yeah, DML, okay. Zero one six. M I L Milkivoli. Yeah, Milkivoli. K E. Like that? Yep. Milkivoli. Milkivoli. <laughs> I wonder what this junk doll is. Fi. Come come over here. What's wrong? I I got in. What? <laughs> How did you figure out the login? I don't know. I just I just knew it. What the hell do you mean you just knew it? I just knew it. it means I just knew it. <laughs> you gave me the same line when I asked you how you knew my name. Why are you bringing that up? It doesn't have anything to do with this. It has everything to do with this. You sure? It might. What? I don't... Eh, uh, look, just forget about that. Come, come take a look at this. Sure, fine. Just let me get right on that. Are you out of your damn mind? Tell me what the hell is going on here. Why do you know how to log into this computer? Are you even listening to me? Continue to yell at one another for several more minutes. But no matter what Fi asked me, I could never come up with an answer that satisfied her. Eventually, she seemed to give up. The situation Fine. mirrored many other aspects of my life. You still don't make any sense, but I don't think you're lying. Damn right I'm not. And the AB game deadline isn't getting any further away. All right. Let's see what this thing has for us. Where are we supposed to start? Looks like there's tons of stuff in here. Oh, can you tell me the ID that you put in? I can try searching for that. Maybe we'll get a hit. Happy kid was fun saga. Gave her what she'd asked for. What? The screen says Captain Kid was fun saga. They have little lines of code. Okay. GTF DML 16. Her search returned several files, and after examining them for a moment, Phi opened one. Golem unit details. Are these product specifications for a golem? Looks like it. So is GTF DML 016 a golem's ID? Don't ask me. You seem to know more about all this than I do. Fine, whatever. Just read the file. Maybe it'll make more sense. Let's see here. Ow. Yes. Luna. Yeah. Why is there a picture of Luna in this file? There's something written underneath it. A's original it says, mom. Appearance after application of ABT. ABT. <laughs> It is this special artificial biological tissue, what's called ABT. When a golem's all new and shiny, they've got a nice suit of ABT over that metal skeleton. Makes it look like looks like. Does. Even feels like real skin, with pores, a little bit of hair, and a few pimples, scars, and the like. <laughs> Truth to tell, I doubt you'd be able to tell the real from the fake, even if it was right in front of you. See, right in the middle of I see. Luna was a golem, and DML016 was her product ID. That must have been what Golem was trying to tell us when he was stopped. Hmm. But why? Why would Luna be in the game? Hmm. I don't know how autonomous she really is, but I find it hard to believe she would have come here of her own free will. So you're saying she was sent here by Zero Senior? Probably. Look. At the bottom of the screen, it shows her current status. Currently operational. Executing special mission. You think her special mission is to participate in the game? Probably. So, why Zero Senior want a robot as the participant? Do you think maybe it was to supervise the rest of us? Maybe if something unexpected happened, she was supposed to correct it or something? What if it was some kind of voight Kampf test? What? It's from an old book. A test to see how human she was. 
whether or not eight people would be able to figure out she was a robot, that might almost explain the whole game, actually. Making us solve puzzles and play the AB game, all of those things could have been designed to give us a chance to see her true nature. So it's kind of like the Chinese room. Yeah. Luna is the girl locked in the room, and the eight of us are the people outside it. Hmm. Well, like I always say... It's just a possibility, right? All what matters is if the person next to you does what a human ought. Looks like a person, acts like a person, and talks like a person, then it's probably a person. When did you figure it out? That she was a golem, I mean? Right now. I didn't know until I saw this stuff. You're lying. When I told you about what happened with Gollum in the pantry, you said something about how this game might be sort of like the Chinese room. I don't know why I said that. It just felt like it made sense. Like you just knew? Yeah. Look, forget about that. See Luna's status? Oh, fuck you, bitch! Yeah, it says the same thing that- yeah, it says the same thing it did a minute ago. Currently operational, executing special mission. Well, wait a minute, what, what the hell? You Luna's think robots die? She was only injected with muscle relaxant. Ten minutes remain. All players, please enter your votes. If no vote is recorded before the deadline has passed, any non-voting parties will automatically ally. <laughs> Of course, you can do the no one who opened the AP gate. That might not be the only thing she did. Look. What do you mean? What are the last three digits of her product ID? A 1-6. And where have we seen that before? No. I don't believe it. You saying it was Luna who handcuffed Clover and Timiyoji? We should go check her body. You remember where it is? The crew quarters, of course, I remember. How would they know the destination 016? Uh, I don't think Clover would know that. But hey. It's gonna be some random BS. You were right. Yeah. Why? Why would Luna? And I... I trust him. Five minutes remain. Let's go. The game has stopped. If we don't vote, we're going to get penalized. Right. Off we go then. If she's in the thing with us, we're all gonna die anyway. Based on your assumption, Eric. Well, that is how the rules are written. Invalid pair detected. Please retry with valid partner. Oh yeah, forgot about this thing. Right, Luna's bracelet. Yeah, with her bracelet, there's three in this room. I stepped outside and set Luna's bracelet down and headed back into the AB room. Minutes remain. All right, I'll go ahead and hit the start button. You ready? Yeah, go ahead. Wait, Sigma. Huh? Luna? One minute remains. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell is going on? Why is Luna here? She's probably planning on participating in the game. You mean she's gonna take the bracelet and go into one of the other rooms? Yeah. She gonna vote? Betray. I'm sure of it. Why else would she have come here? If she wanted to vote ally, she could have just waited for the deadline to pass. She's got 7 BP, right? Yeah. Why are you asking, though? Her BP doesn't matter right now. What? Have you totally lost it? 
She doesn't have her bracelet on. And besides, she's a golem. She isn't trying to get out. Whether she has 9 BP or not doesn't mean anything to her. And why is she doing this? Isn't that obvious? She wants to keep our BP below 9. Say she defaulted to Ally. We could choose whatever we wanted, and we'd still get 9 BP. She's here to make sure that doesn't happen. 10 seconds remain. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. And I... I trust him. 2, 1... Round 3 of the Ambidex game has been completed. Results will be displayed. Thank you for your participation. Ambidex Gates. Hey, Sigma, are you insane? Why the hell did you choose Ally? Wait, we can talk about that later. Right now... She's gone. Where'd she go? That's odd. We came out the moment the gates opened. There's no way she could have left already. And... There it was. Not so. She didn't pick it up. Got the bracelet, she couldn't have voted. Then... she let the system vote ally for her? Results from round three of the Avidex game will now be displayed. Please direct your attention. Right, the results. Yeah. Let's go have a look. No one is alive. <laughs> Ill doesn't show her. Oh jeez, they're skulls. Works how I thought it worked, by the way. That's not how it's written. But that's how I thought it worked. That's fine, it's Points just not how it's written. have been assigned or subtracted accordingly. Please check your bracelet. Dan, Dan, Dan! Since Luna didn't vote, she got set to ally automatically. The other six got penalized. There are some more AV game rules for you. <laughs> not voting is not an option. If both parties refuse to vote, then everybody gets penalized. At this point, you should just know it by heart. I kind of do, but I'm still going to stumble over it because I'm trying to read it. <laughs> <laughs> In other words, one person of every color group of three has to vote. Then again, five of them are already dead. We don't know where Quark is, but his bracelet's already off. Yeah, that means all those penalties are meaningless. Why did Luna show up then? I mean, we've got our 9 BP now, but... Alright, what do you want to do, Sigma? Do you want to leave? <laughs> what? You're kidding, right? Weren't you the one who kept going on about how Quark's still alive? Can't just run off and leave him here. He's dead now, by the way. You sure? He yeah. His bracelet on. Well, he's not dead. Ah. That's a relief. I was hoping you'd say that. Still dead somehow. Now let's get moving. We need oh, to find her. Park. And Luna what too, right? Game? Luna. Hmm. Oh, click, 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 click. The Abadex gates have closed. Round four. Of the Ambidex game, star keys are required. Fi and I checked our bracelets out of sheer reflex. I was mentioned to pair just like before, but Fi had changed to a red solo. Didn't really matter though. Both of our bracelets showed the number nine. All we had to do was open the number nine door, and we'd never have to play another AB game again. All right, Quark comes first. Let's go. We spun around and headed for the cyan door. Followed on her heels. Where would he be? Uh, where he was last time. 
in the vents. In the uh, treatment center, in a pod in stasis. Right, Luna, duh, okay. I was wondering how he would have got there by himself, but if Luna's still up and walking around, Luna could have taken him there and put him in stasis. And taken yep. off bracelet. Yep. If a robot strength. It's the fucking slaughter. At least Dio's actually dead and officially dead. I wanna know what he looks like, damn it. Sigma, there's something I wanna ask you. What is it? There are three doors here. You, Alice, and Luna went through the one on the right. That took you to the Golem Bay, correct? Yeah. According to the map, that's the door on the bottom. There is a lever on that thing in the middle, right? We pulled it, but only but it only opened one of the one of the doors. What about it? Hmm. Take a look. See the lock? Open. Yeah. And who the hell opened it and how? There's only one person who could have opened it. Luna. Alright. <coughs> Let's head in. <coughs> okay. We have one more puzzle, potentially. Ugh, I hate it. What the heck are these things? I think they're treatment pods of some sort. What, mm. mint pods? Mm. Even as I spoke, part of me knew what they were. Didn't know how or why, but I felt a strong sense of deja vu when I looked at them, and suddenly realized I knew exactly how to operate the pods. It was a strange, unsettling feeling, as if somewhere deep inside was a version of myself that I didn't actually know. Hmm. One of them is lit up. The one on the left. Is it being used? The glass is all fogged up. I can't really see inside. Let's crack it open then. Yeah. Work. Ta -da. Our feet pounded across the floor of the warehouse. Where are they running? Pant, pant. I don't know. This is it. They're scared of the robot? Yes. Killer robot. Mark's body bounced in my arms as I ran. Pulse and breathing were normal. He was limp and unconscious, but he was alive. The pod's display had given us a little information on his condition. As far as we could tell, he'd been given an anesthetic, which put him to sleep. Ready? What's wrong? You're supposed to say, yeah, sure. Um... Isn't he still infected with Radical 6? Um... Is it really okay for us to just leave? What the hell is this? You want to stay here? What if Luna kills you too? What? Think about it. Alice, Clover, Tenmyoji, the old woman, even Dio and Kay. There's a good chance Luna killed all of them. Luna with an axe. <laughs> but why? Why doesn't matter. Remember what we saw on Clover's thigh? 016. And what's that the same number as? The last three digits of Luna's product ID. Where did we find the old woman's corpse? In the AB room that Luna came out of. And if you're right, her brain is in the central computer core. 
That means she could have easily moved that crane, right? She could have used it any time she wanted. He's Zero Junior! <laughs> that means any alibi she might have had, she might have for not being able to move the crane is worthless. Exactly. She must have moved the AB room. Alice noticed it right away. At the very least, that would mean Luna had a reason to try and kill Alice. To keep her quiet. She could also have murdered Dio and Kay. Remember their star keys? Luna must have taken them, which puts her in the room with Dio and Kay. You understand, don't you? I admit none of this evidence is conclusive, but look at our options. You, me, Quark, and Luna. Uh, Who do you uh, think uh, is uh, the uh, most uh, likely to be the murderer? Superficial. Think this through, Sigma. Luna's a golem. That means she's a robot that's part of this facility, designed to do God knows what. If what you said about golems and the central computer is true, she's basically a puppet of Zero Juniors. There isn't really much of an argument to be made here. The only option is to leave her here and get out. Have you ever heard of the three laws of robotics? A robot may not injure a human being or through an action allow a human being to come to harm. A robot without the three laws is just a bunch of metal and plastic. Okay, you're right. Let's get out of here. Damn, don't scare me like that. Okay, I'm going to open it. You ready? I have to ask me. Isn't that what you always say? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. It's time we got out of here. Let's go. This doesn't do a countdown. Yeah. No, the door does it for us. A heavy labored groan, the number nine door began to open. And soon as, as soon as the gap was wide enough to admit her body, Fi slipped through it. I followed her through. Quark still cradled in my arms. Inside Ow. was a massive lift platform, like the kind used to move industrial cargo. I turned to face me, and I shoved Quark into her arms. Huh? Before she could respond, I spun around and ran. What are we doing? Wait a minute. That password we got was supposed to unlock the zero door. The number nine door has been opened. It will remain open for nine seconds. Sigma! <laughs> what am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> what the hell are you thinking? Get back here! <laughs> Sorry, Fi. It's just something I have to do. Take care of Quark. No! You don't mean you're going to go find Luna? God damn it, Sigma! Think about what you're doing! Sigma! Listen to me! You can't do this! Don't leave me with this child, damn it! <laughs> Closes way too fast for that scene with Dio to actually have been feasible. Takes about nine seconds, actually. The number nine door has closed. This ends the nonary game. Thank you for your participation. Why did we open the door? As the game Why is over, east? all doors other than the number nine door have been unlocked. Escape is not possible. Please enjoy your stay. had no regrets. Thanks, Postal Dude. In fact, with Fi and Quark's successful escape, I felt a profound sense of relief. One of my objectives had been achieved, and a difficult choice had been made. My mind felt clear and focused. More so than I had in a long time. Alright, time to go. Luna's waiting. We have all the bomb keys. We have all the passwords. You'll be good to go. Luna. I knew you'd be here. You knew? Oh, right. We haven't talked here in this one, huh? Isn't this nice? 
This is the only place in this whole facility with anything green. I kind of feel silly saying it, but it makes me think of the great outdoors. I think it's the perfect place for a serious conversation. Being surrounded by nature makes me feel happy. I'm not sure what you meant just now, but are you talking about something that happened in another history? <laughs> huh? I know what you can do. Someone told me about it once. They said that you have the ability to transport your consciousness through time. <laughs> Who told you that? Luna looked down at the music box around her neck. Carefully and delicately, she twisted a dial on the bottom. Zero Senior. Sigma, aren't you here to ask me something? Why I killed them, perhaps? Well, actually, I already know you didn't do it. Oh? Why do you think I didn't do it? I'd like to know your reasoning. All right. I nodded and took a moment to compose my thoughts. Might as well start with the old woman. There's no point beating around the bush, I suppose. Theo killed her. Why do you think so? Her left arm had blood splatter all the way up to the elbow. Except for a stripe on the wrist that was perfectly clean. What could have caused that? My guess is a bracelet. It covered with blood and kept her wrist clean. Obviously, none of our bracelets had blood splatter on them, but Dio's bracelet reacted to the luminol. That meant Dio's bracelet had to have come from the old woman. Is that your proof? That's why you think Dio killed her? No, that's only enough to suspect him. After all, he could've just taken the bracelet after someone else killed her. Then why are you so sure? Because he confessed. What? After his bracelet reacted to the luminol, I confronted him. Alright, fine. You caught me, I did it. I killed the old bitch and took her bracelet. Wait, when did that happen? In a different timeline. Isn't that... against the rules? What rules? I hope you're not going to try and bring up Nox's Ten Commandments. Does it really matter if it's against the rules or fail? Fair? Truth is the truth. Let's say that Incident P happens, and after that, the timeline splits into Timeline A and Timeline B. I don't think it's unfair to base a theory on Timeline A on information I found in Timeline B. After all, A and B both came from the same place, P. If you trace the history of both timelines, you'd end up back at Incident P. Now, if I could change what happened with Incident P by visiting Timeline A or B, then yes, it'd be a different story. I don't know that it'd be unfair, per se, but I'd certainly be breaking some pretty big rules. Like, you know, the principle of causality. I'm sure that Dio killed the old woman. By extension, that means you couldn't have killed her. I'm assuming Dio wasn't originally intended to be part of the Nonary game. Somehow, he got in and took the old woman's place. That's how he ended up as Quark's partner. This is just an educated guess, but I have a feeling his plan was to replace one of us. I doubt it mattered which one. I have no idea why he would want to do something like that, and I don't know how he did it either. But the fact remains that he did. He hid in the warehouse on floor A and waited for someone to come out of one of the AB rooms. That someone turned out to be the old woman. She left Quark asleep in the AB room and came out on her own. Somehow, he managed to get close enough to stab her. He did it near the wall with the graffiti on it. I'm guessing he stabbed her from behind so that he wouldn't get any blood on himself. As soon as she was dead, he wrapped the knife up in the handkerchief. No, wait, actually. He probably took the bracelet first. Then he would have needed to wipe out the blood off, so then he used the handkerchief for that too. 
Anyway, the point is, he got the bracelet and put it on. Then he wrapped the knife up, hid it between the rightmost AB rooms and its neighbor. He probably didn't expect that they'd move, or he would have put it somewhere else. After that, he headed back into the AB room that the woman had left. Quark would have still been fast asleep, so as far as he knew, Dia was there the whole time. This does raise a few other questions, but I'll save those for later. For now, let's move on to the other murders. Well, actually, one of them probably isn't a murder. What do you mean? I'm talking about Alice. Pretty sure she... committed suicide. All of humanity is going to die. Adults, children, everyone, everyone! There won't be anyone left! I... I'd rather die here! She'd been infected with Radical 6. I think that infection caused her to take her own life. He used Dio's knife, which she'd found in the warehouse after, after the AB room moved and exposed it. She took it with her, and then used it to stab herself in the crew quarters. Next are Clover and Timioji. The first question is, who put the handcuffs on them? The clue is on the message Clover left, 016. If you think about it though, it doesn't make any sense. Clover's left hand was in the handcuffs. That means she would have had to write with her right hand on her right thigh. I feel like it would have been really hard to do that, you know? Why not just use your left thigh? Thing is, I think she did. When she died, her legs slumped together and the message got transferred to the right thigh. We just never saw the original because we didn't bother to check the other leg. In other words, she wasn't trying to write 016. She was trying to write D-I-O. For dying breath, she was trying to tell us the name of her killer. Now about Kay and Dio. I think there's a pretty good chance Dio killed Kay. Here's how I imagine it happened. Kay probably sprayed Dio's bracelet with aluminol. We found the bottle in Kay's robe. He wouldn't have seen the reaction immediately, but Dio would have known what was coming. As soon as Kay turned the lights off, it'd be clear that Dio had taken the old woman's bracelet. My guess is he's, he decided to take preemptive action. When we found their bodies, the lights in the rec room were on. Maybe Kay turned to switch the light off, and Dio took that opportunity to attack him. Kay was hurt pretty badly, but he didn't die right away. He probably managed to grab the spear and stab Dio. And he died. So that accounts for all six bodies, none of them your fault. Sigma, I'm glad you don't think I did it, but all of your theories are just, well, theories. And then she pulls out a knife. Game over. Like Alice committing suicide. How can you be sure? Say she was infected with Radical Six. She could have been murdered before her symptoms even began to present themselves. As for Clover and Tenmyoji, I could easily have killed them. You don't have any proof that Clover's message was mirrored like you say, or even that it was supposed to refer to Dio. Even if it did, that's not conclusive evidence of his guilt. The same goes for Kay and Dio. I could have killed them both. I just... why do you trust me so much? I'm a machine. I'm part of this place. How can you trust a machine? That's why I trust you. What? I trust you because you're a robot. Your robotness is just one more reason you can't be the killer. Well, three more reasons. Have you ever heard of the three laws of robotics? Rule one, a robot may not injure a human being or through an action allow a human being to come to harm. A robot without the three laws is just a bunch of metal and plastic. Or just a rogue robot. Sigma. Luna, I have to ask you. Can you tell me, well, everything you know? 
Your mind is the central server. You should know everything that's happened here. There was a long pause. Luna stood up and walked deeper into the garden. I followed her in silence. Eventually, we reached the bench. Luna quietly sat down and, just like last time, I lowered myself down beside her. You were right. I didn't kill them. How should I explain? Well, actually, you got most of it right. That doesn't matter. Tell me everything. Well, first, yes. Theo did sneak into the facility. He used the large cargo elevator and came into the warehouse on floor A through the number 9 door. Since the game hadn't started yet, anyone could go through it. That doesn't really sound like sneaking. It sounds more like he just walked in. Yes, I guess you could say that. He did get in pretty easily. But that's because Zero Jr. lured him here. What do you mean? Theo wasn't a surprise. Both Zeros knew that he was going to come. So they brought him here? In a way. But why? Because his presence was an important part of Zero's project. A project? I can't go into that right now. We'd be here forever. Right now, let's just focus on the murders, okay? Anyway, Dio found his way in. They made sure he didn't know that he was actually being let in. So why did he come here? To make sure Zero's project failed. His first step was to pretend to be one of the players. As for how he did that, you had it pretty much right. The old woman was the first one out, and he killed her under the graffiti. He put a bracelet on after he wiped the blood off it with the handkerchief. Then he wrapped the knife up and hid it between the 5th and 6th AB rooms. 5th and 6th? Counting from the left in their original placement. In other words, the rightmost room would be the 6th room. And the one next to it would be the 5th. Right. After that, he went back into the 5th AB room where Quark was sleeping. Then he just waited for Quark to wake up. What were you doing while that was happening? Nothing. I couldn't do anything. My body had been turned off. Zero Jr. had powered me down. My body wasn't activated until after Dio went into the fifth room. I couldn't help her. All I could do was watch while she was murdered. Everything in this place is controlled by Zero Jr. I couldn't try and prevent Dio from getting in either. Wait, if Zero Jr. controls everything, then he was the one who moved the sixth room with the crane. Yes, that's right. Zero Jr. moved the room, not me. Then, who moved the old woman? Me. It took me ten minutes to get out of my AB room once I was turned back on. I ran over to check on her as soon as I did. Then, I carried her back to the room I'd been in. Why did you do that? Because I was ordered to. What? Luna, listen to me very carefully. As you already know, the final stage of the project begins in two hours. This will be the culmination of many years of hard work. We cannot afford failure. Yes. I understand. Then let's make sure. What is your mission? Enter the Nonary game as one of the participants and observe the actions of the other players. Ensure that they do what they are supposed to and guide them down the correct paths. How many players will there be? Myself and seven others, ma'am. Will you be participating as well? Yes. Our plan dictates that I must. An individual by the name of Dio will be entering this facility presently. He has been led to believe he is doing so undetected. You've been briefed on him already, correct? Yes. 
He will murder the first person to leave one of the A-B rooms and take their place. If a pair is the first out, he'll probably kill both of them. That's all the information I've been given on him, ma'am. Um, I... Is there a problem? With all due respect, ma'am, I would like to state that I don't feel right about this. We know someone is going to be killed, and we're just going to let it happen. I also have doubts about the use of Radical Six. Are... are you sure? Infecting all these people with such a horrible disease. That is none of your concern. Your only concern is to follow your orders. But... Luna. I am giving you an order. I am in command and you do as I say. You are programmed to do as I say. You know this. Yes. Good. Now, I have one final order. Another order, ma'am? Yes. When you leave the A-B room, the person Dio has killed will still be there. I would like you to move them. Where? To the room you are about to enter. The sixth A-B room. But... why? Not your concern. As a participant in the game, you must have as little knowledge of it as possible. That is why I have made sure you are unable to access any classified data. There are things you must not know. In order for this project to succeed, we need you to be as close to a clean slate as possible. There are some things you already know, which ideally you would not. Unfortunately, this is unavoidable, so you must refrain from divulging anything you know about the project to the other participants. You must never tell anyone what you know about Dio, or the body, or that you carried it to the 6th AB room. You will have to pretend you know nothing more than the rest of the participants. Is that an order? Yes. Do I make myself clear? Yes. After that, I went into the AB room as I'd been told to. As soon as I stepped inside, my body deactivated. But since my brain is in the main computer, I was still awake. So I still saw everything. While I waited, I used the security cameras to see what was going on in the rest of the facility. And you saw the old woman being murdered. Yes. It was... hard. What I was seeing made no sense. Several of my higher level processes nearly failed. To think that she would be the first person to come out. I think she knew that Dio was going to kill her. When she'd said she had one final order for me, I didn't understand what she meant. Like a fool, I told her I didn't approve. When I had no idea what she was prepared to do. When she died, whatever I have that passes for a heart, felt like it snapped in two. I... think I understand. Everything you did, you did because you'd been ordered to? Yes. And it was the old woman who gave you those orders. Then... Is she Zero Senior? No. What? But if she gave you the orders... She did, but she wasn't the only person I took orders from. There was someone else? Yes. And that person is Zero Senior? Yes. We worked together to develop the project she mentioned. So I suppose, technically, my orders came from both of them. And they were both controlling Zero Junior, too. I told you before that Zero Junior moved the 6th AB room. Although that's strictly true, he didn't do it of his own free will. They ordered him to do it. He was following orders just like me. But why? I don't know. I really don't. Maybe they did it so that people wouldn't suspect me. 
They didn't want people to suspect you, then why have you moved the body in the first place? Eventually, we figured out that the room that Eventually, we figured out that the rooms had been moved and that she was in your room. Then maybe they wanted the opposite. You mean maybe they wanted you to suspect me. That doesn't make sense either. If they wanted people to suspect you, why move the room? You're right. Then maybe they only wanted certain people to be suspicious of me. You mean like Alice? Yes. Perhaps they wanted Alice to find the handkerchief and the knife. That would explain why they moved the room. So they somehow knew Dia would hide the knife there? Yes, I think so. But how could they know that? Well, whatever the reasons were, Alice did notice that the room was moved, which meant that Clover also figured it out. And just like you said, Alice used the knife to... to take her life. Clover didn't realize that, though. Or perhaps she didn't want to. In any event, she decided that I must have killed Alice to keep her quiet. So she confronted me. It was right after the second round of the A-B game. Using Phi's timetable, that would be zero hours, zero minutes. Wait, you were listening to us in the security office? Yes. That wasn't all I was listening to, though. I know everything that happened in the facility after my body collapsed. You were watching through the security cameras. Yes, I was. I could see and hear everything. Anyway, we are at zero hours, zero minutes. I was in the hallway on floor A when Clover found me and took me to room 2 in the crew quarters. We entered at about zero hours, one minute. She was very... forceful. I know you killed Alice. Tell me the truth and I'll let you live. Now fess up! I'm only gonna give you one chance. If you lie or try to play dumb or something, I'll kill you right in front of her! I told her the truth, of course. I explained that I hadn't killed Alice, that she'd been infected with Radical Six, and it had caused her to kill herself. Clover was never going to believe that, though. We argued about it for nearly nine minutes. It wasn't just Alice she asked me about. She asked me about the murder of the old woman, and about the A-B room being moved. She wasn't very nice about it, but I couldn't answer any of her questions. Because of your orders? Yes. Then, at about zero hours, ten minutes, she must have run out of patience. She stuck her hand in her pocket and started moving toward me. She backed me up against the wall and pulled her hand out of her pocket. She was holding the injection gun. I tried to take it away from her. I even screamed for help. She refused to let go, of course, while we were fighting over it. Oh, hold on a minute. The trigger got pulled in the fight, I get that part. What I don't understand is why it did anything to you. You mean, because I'm a golem? Yeah. One of my orders was always to act like I was one of the players. A human. Any human injected with that amount of tubocurarine would die. That's why you, uh, died. To keep up the facade that you were human? No. I collapsed because Zero Jr. turned off the power to my body again. He probably felt he had to. Maintaining the illusion that I was human was probably in his orders, too. So to make it look like I had died, he turned the power off. Whatever the case, it was an accident. I don't think Clover ever intended to actually kill me. She only took the injection gun to try and threaten me. How can you be sure? When I collapsed, she looked terrified. She checked for my pulse and listened to see if I was breathing. She also shook my body and called out to me several times. If she'd meant to kill me, why do all that? After a few moments, she ran off to the infirmary to get the AED. You mean the defibrillator? Yes. That uses an electric shock to restart the heart, right? Correct. So that was why she left? Yes. 
zero hours, 11 minutes, 40 seconds, Clover left the cabin in the crew quarters. She ran off toward the infirmary. On the way, she bumped into Dio. Dio? Yes. I guess she just saw him, really. They didn't talk. She just ran past. And he just watched her go by? Yes. I imagine he was curious, of course. He probably wondered what she was doing. But he chose not to go after her. He had something else to do. At zero hours, twelve minutes, Dio enters the room. He seemed pretty surprised to find my body. I bet. It didn't take him long to get over it, though. Wouldn't imagine it would. What did he do then? He'd gone there for two reasons. One was to get Alice's bracelet, which was a blue solo. Right. Without it, Dio and Kay, the yellow pair, wouldn't be able to get through the secondary door. Right? Yeah, but he couldn't find it. Of course. I had already taken it by then. Yes, but there was something else he wanted to do, too. He was there to take the knife. Removing it was... gruesome. But why did he want the knife? Was it because he'd used it to kill the old woman? No, I don't think so. And what do you think? I think he didn't want anyone to see the engraving on the knife's blade. That's why he hid it so well after he killed the old woman. Why wouldn't he want anyone to see that? Do you remember what it said? There was a word engraved on the blade. Myrmidons. Yes. What does Myrmidons mean? It's the name of the organization he belongs to. Uh, what is it, like a club or something? I don't think so. Well, what is it then? Um, I don't really know. No idea? I'm afraid not. Wait, wasn't he here to try and stop whatever Zero was doing? Yes. Then, uh, wouldn't that mean he's on our side? Um, I don't know about that. He's killed four people. I'm not really sure he's on anyone's side. Ah, uh, you got a point. Damn it, this is ridiculous. I guess this enemy of my enemy isn't my friend, huh? May I continue? Yeah, keep going. Okay, this is Alice. Uh, this is Luna. Yes, you're... But, yep, you, you, same person. <laughs> okay. After he took the knife, Dio rifled through what few belongings Alice had. Okay, now this no. is back to Sigma. Yeah. Why'd they do that? Never mind. Luna said he didn't seem like to be looking for anything in particular. He's probably just checking to see if she had anything useful. That was where he found the key to K's suit. He didn't seem to have any particular reason for taking it. At least as far as Luna could tell. Zero hours, thirteen minutes, Dio left the room. He heard K opening the cyan door and ran out. When he left, he was heading toward the infirmary. My guess is that he was going after Clover. He found her with the AED. She was planning to just ignore him and head back, but... Theo didn't let her. Hey, wait. Just what are you planning to do with that thing? Thinking about trying to resuscitate Luna? And why would you want to do that? You were the one who killed her, weren't you? When Clover tried to push past Dio, Luna said they began to fight. The fuck do you think you're doing? Dio pulled the knife out of his pocket and pointed it at Clover's throat. That was when he showed up. Dio! What the hell are you doing? None of your goddamn business. Stay out of this, you senile old shit. Like hell, you son of a bitch. He let out a yell and left toward Dio. The younger man dodged him easily and lashed out with a knife. Tamiyoji caught Dio's hand with a grunt and 
and for a moment the two men struggled. Then as the knife edged closer, he wrapped his other hand around the blade and tried to force it away. Badia was a much younger and stronger man, and the wound Tomioji gave himself with the knife didn't do him any favors. He put up a valiant fight, but with a roar, Dio threw him off, and Timioji collapsed to the floor. What are you going to do? Let's see. How about this? All that training, and she's pretty useless. She can withstand exactly 0.5 bonks from any given opponent. You two really look great together. Also, you know? what are you going in to two do timelines, in two timelines, Timmy Energy beat the shit out of Dio. By the way, <laughs> and this one Clover did as well. They did a weird tag team attack with Alice. I don't know if that counts. Doesn't it? No. No. No, because no, it was mostly Alice. <laughs> Isn't it obvious? Yeah. They keep saying that word. <laughs> I'm gonna handcuff you to a sink. Actually, huh, obviously. I already have. Are you gonna beat us to death or something? Ugh, no. Nothing so tasteless. W what are you going to do then? How'd you like to make a bet? A bet? You've got... Oh, 20 some minutes until the primary white doors open. So I'd say you've got 25 minutes until they close. Give or take. If somebody happens to come by here before the doors close, you might live. But if nobody finds you, well... We'll be penalized! Exactly. So, I suggest you start screaming for help now. Unfortunately for you, just about all the rooms in this place are behind at least two nice thick doors. So unless they're pretty close, nobody's gonna hear you scream. Well, I'm off to the Floor B Warehouse, okay? Enjoy your last 25 minutes. Later. Twenty-five minutes passed, and no one came. Of course, by then there were only three other people who could have come, apart from Dio. You mean me, Fi, and Kay, right? Yes. You were in the crew quarters at this point. Yeah. Kay told us about you. We'd also noticed that the knife in Alice's chest had been removed. Only we'd known what, what was happening in the infirmary. Unfortunately for Clover and Tenmyoji, their time had come. Once the primary white door closed, both of their bracelets injected them with Soparil. The anesthetic, right? Yes. Almost immediately they started to feel sleepy. I think that's when Clover realized she was definitely going to die. That was when she decided to leave her message. Just as you said, she wrote on her left thigh with her right hand. And the word she wrote was Theo. Yes. I don't know if we needed to go back over this. As for what happened in the rec room, well, I guess I don't really need to tell you. Your theory was essentially correct. What you said was what happened. I needed to fill enough time to have a proper ending for her. I don't know if that's true. It's a case break Dio's bracelet with glue and all, and then while his back was turned, Dio attacked him with the axe. He immortally wounded him, but didn't kill him, so Kay turned around and stabbed Dio with the spear. And I guess that's when we found them. Yes. When did Kay get the luminol? After they went through the white door, Dio and Kay found themselves in the director's office. When they were done there, they headed back to floor A to look for everyone else. They went to the crew quarters first, then to the infirmary. Of course, they found Clover and Tenmyoji's bodies there. Theo expected to find them, of 
course, but he pretended to be shocked. Anyway, Kay checked them over for anything useful. And that was when he found the luminol. Right. That's everything that happened. Do you have any questions? Well, what do you think? There's a bear shit in the woods. Um... Well, the first thing is Quark's bracelet. Why was it in the infirmary? Tenmyoji had it. Then when Dio attacked him, it fell out of his pocket. But why did Tenmyoji have it? I told him where it was. When? Do you remember when you were in the rec room with Fi and Tenmyoji? Yeah, when he sprayed us with the luminol, right? Sure, I remember that. Right after then. When he left the rec room, he went toward the green door to look for Quark. I ran into him at the end of the hallway, where the three doors and the switch are. That was when I told him. Look, Tenmyoji. The center door is unlocked. He took off through it without another word. That was the treatment room, right? Yes. Where Quark was sleeping? Right. It only took him a moment. As soon as he saw Quark, he ran to his pod and started crying. Out of relief, right? Yes. The display on the pod showed Quark's vital signs. It was obvious he was alive the moment he looked at it. Next to the pod was Quark's bracelet. That was how Tenmyoji got it. Why was Quark's bracelet off? I took it off. How? Aluminum foil. What? You mean the stuff from the crew quarters? Oh, you found it? Did you know that aluminum foil has electromagnetic shielding properties? What? Here's an exciting fact! Your heart creates a bunch of faint electrical impulses. Anyway, the point is that you can detect the electricity that your heart makes by like pumping blood. Your fancy little bracelets pick up on that. They're always Wait, so you're telling me the aluminum foil can block the electromagnetic waves your heart sends out? Yes. All you have to do is wrap it around your bracelet. And the bracelet thinks your heart stopped? Yes. Holy shit. It was that easy all along. Anyway, I used some aluminum foil to get Quark's bracelet off. Then I put it next to the pod. Wait. Why was Quark in the pod to begin with? Oh, that's easy. I put him there. When did you do that? Remember when we were first looking for Quark? I found him unconscious near the entrance to the Golem Bay. So you carried him to the treatment center? To the treatment blah, 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 To the treatment pot. Talk, Eric. Yes. Please do. Bleh. Were you the one who unlocked the treatment center too? No, I was not. I do not have the authority to operate any of this facility's machinery. So, what was Zero Junior? That's right. You reactivated your body too, right? And I don't get any of this. Why the hell did he do that? I guess it wasn't really him that did it, huh? He was just doing what Zero Senior and the old lady told him to do. Everything leads back to them, huh? <laughs> of course it does. So, are you gonna tell me? Tell you what? Isn't that obvious? Tell me what this project is. Everything that happens in here has something to do with it. So why were we brought here? To play the nonary game. And why were we supposed to play the nonary game? That was part of the project. Why did Alice kill herself? Because she was infected with Radical Six. How did she get infected? Zero Senior and the old woman did that. Why? It was a necessary evil. It had to happen for the project to succeed. What would have happened if Alice hadn't committed suicide? Clover wouldn't have suspected me, and she wouldn't have accidentally... Um, killed me. 
Then what? I wouldn't have collapsed, and Dio wouldn't have found my body. That would have meant the confrontation in the infirmary never took place. In other words, you're saying Clover and Tomioji died for this project. Yes. Well, actually it was the tuba curing that killed them. But they were only injected with it because of their bracelets. And they were only wearing those bracelets because of the nonary game. If the nonary game was part of the project, then that's one more way it killed them. I guess, if you want to look at it that way. Now what about Kay and Dio? Why would they kill each other? Because Dio killed the old woman. He was worried about getting caught, so he tried to kill Kay before he could find out the truth. And if Dio hadn't killed the old lady, what happened in the rec room would never have taken place, right? Yes. So let me ask you this. Why did Dio kill her? So that he could pose as one of the participants. And why did he do that? To disrupt the project. Then why did she let him kill her? The same reason they did all of this. It was a necessary evil. The project couldn't be allowed to fail. Six people died here. Four of them were murdered one way or another by Dio. At first, that makes it look like Dio's the reason they all died, but that's not true, is it? All of them, all six of them, they all died for this project. That means that the murderer, or I guess I should say murderers, were the old lady and Zero Senior, right? Please, Luna, tell me. What is this project about? Who is the old woman? Who's Zero? Sigma. Would you... hug me? What? Instead of answering, Luna wrapped her arms around me and buried her face in my chest. My own arms hovered in the air, confused about where they should go. I swallowed hard and tried to rein in my heartbeat, which had suddenly doubled. As I, I was about to speak when I felt something warm on my chest. It was Luna crying. This feels... nice. Her voice shook as she spoke. I lowered one hand to her head and began to gently stroke her hair. Ah. Uh, hey? Luna? What the hell is going on? I'm sorry. My ABT is usually held in place by muscle fiber. But after Clover gave me the tubal curarine... Okay, okay. I, I, I get it. This... Does it scare you? This is what I really look like. I'm a golem. Just a... A machine. A jumble of metal and plastic that pretends to be real. I wrapped my arms around Luna and hugged her as tight as I could. You believed in me this whole time. Yeah. Even though I look like... like this? Of course. I trust you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I wish I could stay here forever. You feel so nice. But I think my time Spare. is up. What? I've done things I really shouldn't have. Do you remember what you asked me earlier? About if Zero Jr. had reactivated my body? Remember? The truth is... He didn't. I did. I went to the part of the core that controls Zero Jr. And I hacked it. What? Yes. That was the first thing. The second. Do you know what the second one was? If I had really wanted to... I could have saved Clover and Tenmyoji. Then Kay and Dio probably wouldn't have killed each other. That's not all. I could have stopped Alice from killing herself. And I could have even saved the old woman at the very beginning. In other words, I had the ability to disobey my orders. But I... I didn't. That's the second thing. I broke the first law. I was scared. I... I was afraid to die. Obviously, hacking the core and taking control of Zero Junior's systems is... Very, very bad. 
Golems who don't follow orders can become dangerous, so we're terminated if we disobey. You lose access to your body, of course, but everything that's stored in the core, your memories, your consciousness, is deleted. What? Wait, are you saying- Yes. Very soon now, I'll be gone. Zero Junior is probably recovering himself right now. Once he's done, I doubt I'll be around much longer. What? Why? I watched six people die and did nothing. I deserved this. No. No, you don't. Oh. Even if you had done something, you would have been killed anyway. You can't blame yourself. You did what you could. You're not wrong. This game is what's wrong. Or is he going to watch your friends die is what's wrong. Oh, Sigma. Thank you. I'm... I'm really glad I met you. Luna. Luna. It's, it's going to be okay. I, I, I'm not going to let them do this. It's going to be fine. I, I promise. Just please, don't... I'm sorry. My time's up. At least I get to... die in your arms. Luna. Thank you, Sigma. Goodbye, Doctor. Doctor? But she couldn't answer. Squeezed my eyes shut and held her, unable to bear the thought of letting any more of her slip away. With one last quiet chime, the music box wound down. I was left with nothing but silence and the cold pool of tears over my heart. Wow. Now we have to treat her like shit. Can we just not do that? Nope. We have a path ahead of us and we know what it is. Now there we have that treat her like shit. You found your robot, are you happy now? I knew it all along. You know she's a robot, but but uh. He's over there crying. <laughs> <laughs> so can we just not go betray her, please? Nope. Oh, since you mentioned <laughs> that, we still need to finish that lucid. <laughs> we should probably get on that here soon, huh? <laughs> yep. I knew it all along. I just don't know what the middle thing is. Look in uh, the middle. What is it? Look in the middle. <laughs>